everyone, Joe McHale here, owner of Best Made Docks on a chilly uh, spring day here in upstate New York in the Finger Lakes. Uh, I'm on the Canandaigua City Pier. This is Canandaigua Lake behind me. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Canandaigua City Pier is kind of like a, it's like this cool uh, roadway that goes out into the water and then kind of makes a turn around and then comes back. There's all these old uh, boat houses and stuff um, down over there. But anyways, uh, so I was driving down through here the other day and I noticed something that I thought was uh, important and noteworthy for people who were considering buying floating docks. It, uh, it caught my eye, I've been watching it a little bit uh, for a little while now. Uh, it's this guy right here, see this? Um, so these are floating docks for a, a marina that's down over here. Um, and uh, if you look over here at this rock wall, way over here in the back, um, when we're at full normal season uh, water levels, that rock wall is pretty much covered. When I look over there right now, it's down about a foot and a half. And about two weeks ago, before all the snow melted, it was down even more than that. So uh, what happened is that as these floating docks went up and down, uh, a couple of these fingers bound on the post. Um, so a lot of times um, when people are talking to me about floating docks, I say, well, listen, we need to know uh, what kind of water fluctuations you're dealing with, um, first and foremost. And then also uh, we need to make a decision on how many anchor posts to use. So I always say uh, go as few of anchor posts as is necessary to keep the dock in place uh, and you can be confident it's not going to float away on you um, due to some, some waves or some, uh, some high water or something like that. So the reason being, um, when you have anchor posts or floating docks, it's constraining the dock to only move up and down in a vertical plane. Now when you have an anchor post that somehow managed to get in a little bit cockeyed like that, when the dock moves up and down, you can end up with binding, um, as we're seeing here. Um, the other thing that can happen too is when you have a drastic water fluctuation, normally this lake doesn't, doesn't fluctuate this much, uh, but this year it did because we had a very low fall. But uh, you need to make sure that you have your, your diameter sleeve that's connected to the dock uh, have an appropriate clearance between your diameter post that's going up and down in it. So now for these over here, the sleeve and the post um, must have been fairly tight. And I can tell just by looking at it that it's fairly tight. And so this was kind of the perfect storm of well, you know, you have, um, you, you really couldn't have gotten away with less posts, so you, you couldn't do that. But, uh, but the sleeve is probably just a little bit too tight for the water fluctuations that it's gonna see for that post. Um, so like, if we look over here, like, you know, so it looks as though they took the float off on the end of that. Um, I see a float sitting right over there. That's not the float, because that's actually the float over on that one. And then you can see over there, that one's still hung up. So a couple weeks ago, both of those right there were hung up. Um, I'm not sure why they are pulling floats off, but it might be that they were trying to get things moved around to get them, to get them uh, free. Now you might be saying, well, who cares? What's the big deal? You know, it's, uh, it goes down, it binds, then when the water comes back up, it'll pop free. It's not always necessarily that easy. What can, what can happen is, you know, these, these docks are meant to be supported equally by all the floats. The, the anchor posts are just there to keep them from floating away. Um, so when you have something get hung up like that, all of a sudden there's, there's uh, much greater stresses on uh, welds in different portions of the dock that were never intended to be there. So you can end up with, uh, you know, the sleeves could be ripping off on these things. Um, you could have uh, connection points uh, weld snapped. But um, I just thought that illustrated the point really good. Um, one, you need to make sure you got proper clearance based on the water fluctuation. And two, minimum required post to keep it in place. Uh, just because you have a, a post holder in each spot doesn't mean you necessarily want to use them. And, uh, and that's perfect illustration. So uh, it's cold out. I want to get back in the truck, but I thought that was a great point. See you next time.